Boys, it finally just happened. There is an actual update for Counter-Strike that is massive. Counter-Strike dropped this tweet just a couple of minutes ago, claiming that they're only fixing like a couple of things, you know, two release notes to share. But dude, we know they love to bait. And uh, yeah, they're doing it once again, because once you click on this, it takes you to the Steam page that, yeah, we basically got a massive update here. They're calling it a call to arms and it adds arms race, custom sticker placement, new weapon case, stickers and music, and some other game updates. You can already see right here, arms race is back. There's kukri knives, the kukri knife has been added. And did I see Zeus skins? Hold up. Okay, first of all, arms race has returned. We know about this. I'm not gonna take too long to go over that. Custom sticker placement. I made a short a while ago about a concept for this. And some people were like, nah, we hate this. But then some people were also like, yo, this looks sick. We need Need this and it looks like I don't know if Counter-Strike saw that concept or not but they've decided to go this direction stickers are no longer restricted to a few preset positions just drag and drop and even rotate to get your placement just right this is insane real quick before I go on with the rest of this I gotta pay for food so let me give a shout out to today's video sponsor skins monkey skins monkey is hands down one of the best bot trading sites you can use with Counter-Strike skins say you want to upgrade some of your current skins to get something better this would be the perfect site to do that with you can also straight up buy skins too and with their 35 percent deposit bonus plus my code it gives anyone quite a nice balance to work with there's even free giveaways you can enter and rewards for completing simple tasks on the site get started with a free five dollars using my link in the description below yeah i know sorry i gotta squeeze that in there because this is my job and all but moving on to the next massive feature of this update the kilowatt case this is the brand new case i guess featuring 17 community design weapon finishes and the all new kukri knife it also introduces a shocking new entry to your loadout options you'll be stunned when you see it Wait, what does that mean? Hold on, let me just go through the skins here real quick. The blues, cool. I mean, I'm not really, I don't care too much about the blues and the purple and pinks. Let's see, Black Lotus, okay. Olympus, oh, Olympus Zeus skin. Okay, Zeus skins are actually in this. They're actually in this. This is the Olympus Zeus skin. We got the Jawbreaker for the USPS. That looks sweet. Following that with the Chrome Cannon, I think this is like one of those concepts that we saw. We'll take a look at that too in a little bit. We got the Inheritance AK. This is a wild looking AK. And then obviously, lastly, we got the Kukri Knives with it looks like just the basic finishes that were leaked a little while ago. It looks like they got some more about that right here. We got the Kukri Knife and then we got the Zeus 27 skins that you can see. It now supports name tags even in stickers. And it recharges in 30 seconds in all game modes. It's not a one-time use weapon anymore. That's huge. Like I said, we got some new stickers and music kits as well. The stickers look cool. The music kits, I mean, cool and all. I'm, I don't really care too much about this kind of stuff. Wait, what's this? XP overload. When you have earned all the normal weekly XP and have entered reduced XP gain, you'll get something to show for it. An XP overload icon will appear next to your name in your profile, the scoreboard and kill feed, and you'll have at least one week to show it off. Okay, so that's kind of cool. So if you play the game a lot and get that <laughs> that reduced XP, you basically have an icon to say, hey, I play the game a lot. Ooh, it looks like for the outro screens, instead of just the same old animations that play every time, we actually have some uh, defeat animations for when you lose. Oh my God. And then following the rest of that, we got the release notes here. I'm not going to take too long to go over this, but there are a couple of game changing things here. Like we already highlighted that the Zeus is now reusable, only a 30 second recharge, but it looks like smokes now cast shadows and the rendering has been improved, which is kind of cool. They've added a refund all button to the buy menu. So you can just refund everything really quickly. A setting to disable first person bullet tracers a couple other various things some things to the sound networking and ui that's sweet though i want to go in game and see what's different at all wait okay it's finally here let me do an eight gigabyte update hold on i gotta start this all right here we go booting the new update for the very first time yo the new baggage background looks sick we also got the new sticker capsule down here hold on if i just want to take a look at this i mean i don't personally care too much about these but like the red stickers are these any are these any cool Okay, that's pretty sick. Stickers are looking pretty dope. The ouchy foil, whoa. Definitely pretty cool. I'm more interested in seeing the case though. Actually, if I just go through here, we got the new music kits right here. These are the new music kits right here, if anyone's curious. Again, not something I care too much about, but is the new case in here? No, I'm not seeing it. All right, well, anyways, with the two new maps, we obviously got baggage and then we got shoots. And I wanna change to the shoots one real quick. So if we go, wait, warehouse, what's warehouse? Whoa, whoa, wait, what is this? Oh, I guess warehouse is the shoots one because there's no shoots on here. Okay. But now if we go to the play section though, we should have arms race. There it is with baggage and shoots. 
Dude, this looks sick. If you've played Counter-Strike before, you know what this game mode is, and I'm not gonna go play it for this video just because I don't want this video to be insanely long. I can't wait to play this once again, though. I love Arms Race. The last thing I wanted to look at was the case, but unfortunately, I don't think I can get it yet without paying hundreds of dollars. So that's kind of a rip. But hold on, this sticker placement. Let me grab, let me just grab my AK. Let's say I wanna apply stickers to this. If I click apply sticker, and let's say I just wanna do this one, I don't know. Yo, wait, so you can actually freely drop it wherever. That's crazy. Yo. Okay, I did not expect this. Wait, so if you flip it around, can you drop it onto the other side? Wait, maybe you can't put this sticker on the other side. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works, but then the first person inspect... Dude, they did actually add this too. I saw them beating with this on Twitter. Yo. Okay, that is sick. If I press F on my keyboard... Oh, okay, it just... It only inspects it once you gotta do it again. That's still really, really, really cool. But yeah, anyways, that's about it for this update. If you guys did make it this far, definitely make sure you guys drop a like and maybe even comment your favorite thing if you want. You know, the engagement always helps. And uh, subscribe if you're new. With that all said though, now whatever video the YouTube algorithm is showing on your screen, it thinks you might like. So if you want, do me a favor and go check it out.